So the final talk of the session is called uh, One Over P Secure Multiparty Computation Without Honest Majority and the Best of Both Worlds. It is by Amos Baimel, Yehuda Lindel, Iran Omri, and Ilan Olo, and uh, Ilan will be giving the talk. Hey. Good morning, my name is Ilan Orlov and today we will be presenting one of LP secure multi-party protocol without an honest majority and its usage in achieving the best of both worlds. Uh, this is a joint work with Amos Bemel, Yuda Lindel and Ran Umri. I would like to state our results in a glance. It might be not so, not so clear for now, but I hope it will be clear later. So in this world, we explore one over P secure multi-party protocols without an honest majority. Well, one over P security is a relaxed notion of security. We achieved the following positive result. We constructed one over P secure protocols for constant number of parties for computing any function with polynomial size range tolerating any number of co-op parties. In addition, we proved the following complementary possibility result. We proved that there is no general one over P secure protocol for a non constant number of parties. This result explains why the number of parties is constant in our uh, protocols. In addition, we discussed the best of both worlds. We constructed a single protocol that has the following nice property. If there is a full, uh, if there is an honest majority in the system, then the protocol is fully secure. While if there is no honest majority in the system, the protocol is one over P secure. So this protocol uh, achieves the maximal security possible if there is honest majority, and it does not collapse when there is no honest majority. So this talk has four parts. Background, our results, the ideas of our protocol, and a summary and open questions. Uh, we start with the background. So every talk has to have a motivating story. This is ours. Most of you forgot it, but today is Smurfette's birthday. And uh, all the Smurfs decided to buy her a birthday gift. They decided to buy her a book. There are two books on sale, Harry Potter and Algorithms. <laughs> <laughs> and each Smurf has a preferred book. Therefore, they decided to compute the most popular one, which is, in this case, Harry Potter. Uh, in fact, they decided to execute a protocol for this computation. And our goal is uh, to construct a protocol that will be secure as much as possible against uh, an adversary that corrupts some of the parties and wishes to cause damage to the protocol. I will next describe the model. So there are M parties in the system that execute an R round protocol where the number of rounds are is bounded by a polynomial in the security parameter. There is an adversary in the system that runs in a polynomial time, and it is malicious. It corrupts and controls some of the parties. The adversary is a rushing adversary. It means that in each round, it first sees all the messages of the honest parties, and only then it chooses and sends messages of the, of, uh, on behalf of the malicious parties. Those messages can depend on the messages of the honest parties. This is more realistic than a simultaneous uh, channels model. We also assume a broadcast channel. It means that each message sent by each party is seen by everyone. I will describe the security definitions. Uh, so the common security definition involves a comparison between two worlds. The real world, which is the protocol running in the model described in the previous slide, and an ideal world, which is an imaginary world that assumes an existence of a trusted party that helps with the computation. I will describe in detail uh, the ideal world. So this is the ideal computation of a function. There are M parties where each party holds an input. There is a trusted party and an adversary who corrupts a subset of the parties, and it can change their inputs. Next, each party sends its input, input to the trusted party, who in turn uh, computes the function and sends to each one of the parties the output. 
observe that changing the inputs is the only thing that the adversary can do in this model. Therefore, many nice properties are guaranteed. For example, privacy, correctness, and fairness. Well, fairness informally states that the corrupt part, if the corrupt parties get the output, then the honest parties get the output as well. So after we define the ideal world of computation, we can define the definition of full security. In, in full security, we compare the real world, which is the protocol, and the ideal world that assumes uh, a trusted party. And we say that a protocol is fully secure if no real world adversary can do more harm than an ideal world adversary. And as the ideal world is secure, then the real world is secure as well. So is this definition of full security achievable? Goldach, Mikali, and Vigdorsson at 87 proved that any polynomial time function f can be computed with full security without, uh, with an honest majority. However, Cleve at 86 proved that any R around M party coin tossing protocol has a bias of one over R without an honest majority. So we can conclude that it is impossible to achieve full security without an honest majority for general functions. For example, we cannot achieve full security from coin tossing. So what can be achieved without an honest majority? Uh, GMW37 suggested the following relaxed definition called security with a bolt. This definition achieved without an honest majority. However, it does not provide any fairness. In fact, the adversary can learn the output while the honest parties learn nothing. So can we get a reasonable fairness without an honest majority? And the answer is yes. We can have one over P security. So one over P security is a definition defined by Gordon and Katz at 2010. And in this definition, we compare the previous two worlds. The real world, which is the protocol, and the ideal world, which is, in fact, the same real world in the definition uh, of full security. Recall that in full security, we require the real world to fully emulate the ideal world, while in one over P security, we require the real world to emulate the ideal world within a computational distance of 1 over p. So in other words, the adversary can cause damage to the protocol in, in probability of at most 1 over p. In their work, Gordon and Katz showed a feasibility result for two parties. They proved that for every function f, where the size of domain or range is polynomial, there exists a 1 over p a secure two-party protocol and it holds for every polynomial p. In addition, they uh, proved the following possibility result. They proved that domain or range have to be polynomial. Next, they ask if this result can be extended to the multi-party case. In our work, we give both positive and negative answers for this question. So now, uh, we'd like to state our results. Our main result is a feasibility result for multi-party. Informally, we constructed one over P secure protocols for a constant number of parties. More formally, we proved the following theorem. We proved that for every function f, where the number of parties m is constant and the size of range of f is polynomial, there exists a one over P secure protocol that tolerates up to m minus one corrupt parties. Observe that m minus one corrupt parties is the maximum number of corrupt parties possible. And it holds for every polynomial p. In a different protocol, if we showed that if the, corrupt, if the number of corrupt parties is less than two thirds of the total, total number of parties, and uh, the function f is deterministic and the size of domain of f is constant, then we can have the number of parties to be non-constant. It can be uh, o of log log of the security parameter. Uh, on the negative side, we, we prove the following uh, impossibility result. But first, I would like to state a special case of our possibility result. So we prove that there exists a one over p secure protocol when the number of parties is constant and uh, the function uh, f is deterministic and the do size of domain of each part is polynomial. And our possibility result states that such protocol for deterministic function 
where the size of domain of each part is, poly is polynomial is not possible when the number of parties m is non-constant. And this explains why the number of parties is constant in our result. Next, we discuss the best of both worlds. So, GMW37 proved that any polynomial time function f can be computed by a protocol with full security with, with, uh, with an anonymous majority. But, if there is no honest majority, the above protocol, this protocol, does not guarantee any security. And so our goal is to have a single protocol that achieves a fully security if there is honest majority in the system, and some weaker notion of security if there is no honest majority in the system. We will call it a fallback security. Ishai Katz, Kosheleviz, Lindel, and Patrang defined this problem and suggested protocols achieving several models of fallback security. But they did, they did not achieve the exact above goal. Uh, they had some good reasons for that. In our work, we consider 1 over p security as a possible fallback, and we achieve it. So informally, 1 over p security is possible as a fallback security for a constant number of parties. More formally, we prove the following theorem. We prove that for every function f, uh, for m parties, if both the domain and range are polynomial and the number of parties m is constant, then there exists a single protocol that is fully secure if there is an honest majority, and it is one over p secure if there is no honest majority. And this is the best of both worlds. And as Ishai Tal proved that security with abort is not possible as a fallback security, then we get uh, another strong motivation for discussing the definition of one over p security. Uh, next, uh, give some of the ideas of our protocol. So uh, we'll not have enough time to discuss the whole protocol, but uh, here are some of the ideas. And this is the structure of our protocol. The structure was used in other constructions as well. So our protocol has two steps the preprocessing step and the interaction step. In the preprocessing, the parties execute a secure with about protocol in which they give their inputs as an input, and in exchange, they receive a set of shells and send messages for executing an R round protocol. In the interaction step, there are R rounds where in each round, each party broadcasts its message that it got in the previous, uh, in the previous step, and each subset of parties learn a value. This value is used if other parties are bought. We have a special round called ISTAR. After round ISTAR, each subset of parties receives the actual output of the function f, while before the round ISTAR, each subset of parties receives a value that depends only on the inputs of the parties in this set. And our protocol has the following nice property that to cause the damage, to cause the computational distance, the adversary must guess exactly the value of ISTAR. And it is quite hard as the value of I star is well concealed. And as I told you, this structure was used in previous constructions. But in our protocol, we had to face with new challenges and to suggest new ideas. So challenge number one, how to conceal the value of I star in multi-party setting. Challenge number two, how to deal with any possible abort of any subset. Here are some of our solutions for those challenges. All the information is shared in a few layers of SQL sharing, and after an abort, the remaining parties execute a protocol. And this protocol has to conceal the value of ISTAR. It is quite uh, hard, and uh, many of our uh, ideas are behind this uh, line. Uh, so, Let's uh, sum, up, sum up the talk and suggest some open questions. So we explore a one over p secure multi-party protocols without an honest majority. We achieved the, positive, the following positive result. We constructed one over p secure protocols for constant number of parties. And next, uh, we proved that there is no general one over p secure protocol for non-constant number of parties, and this result explains why the number of parties is constant in the protocol. 
In addition, we discussed the best of both worlds. We constructed a single protocol that is fully secure if there is an honest majority in the system, and it does not collapse if there is no honest majority. It achieves one of OP security in this case. So we'd like to suggest some open problems. Uh, question number one. Is there a one over P secure protocol for function f with non-constant number of parties and polynomial uh, size range and domain? Recall that our impossibility result does not rule out this possibility. Another question, are there more efficient one over P secure protocols? By efficiency, I mean the number of rounds. So I didn't tell you about it, but uh, in the protocols, the, uh, the number of rounds is double exponential in the number of parties. And as the number of parties is constant, it is okay, but we would like to see uh, protocols with less number of rounds. Another question is, can you get full privacy and partial fairness in secure multi-party computation without an honest uh, majority? Recall that, the, that in the definition of one over P security with probability of one over P, the privacy can be totally lost. So maybe we need to suggest new definitions uh, to solve this question. And that's all. Any questions? Okay, in that